guys, it's Jackie, and for today's video, I'm going to show you some unique no-heat hairstyles that are eye-catching and perfect for spring and summer. And I color my hair, and I use a lot of heat on it, so I love to switch up my look with no-heat hairstyles paired with some oils and nourishing creams for my hair so that my color stays vibrant and I switch up my look every day. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And I have teamed up with eSalon for this, so if you like any of the products that I mention, check them out in the down bar. You can get 50% off. And what I love about eSalon products is it's formulated for colored hair, so that's something that I really look for in a product. And yeah, check it out in the down bar if anything interests you, and let's get into the video. This first hairstyle is a glossy glam side pony. Today I tried a method of no heat curls that I'd never done before, so they failed on me. And I have poofy irregular texture, which is actually great because with no heat, I'm gonna transform this bad hair day into something cute. So if you wake up and you're starting out with a natural texture that's a little more on the poofy side or irregularly curly or wavy like mine is, then smooth the hair out with a brush and then use some anti-frizz serum. This one by Eastlawn controls hard to manage strands and has silk protein and vitamins to deliver long lasting humidity control, which is great moving into summer. So I'm really working this in. You can see my curls are starting to fall and cooperate a little bit better. And this Eastlawn serum also helps my hair color keep rich and vibrant and helps seal split ends for a smooth finish so my hair is a lot easier to work with. With naturally wavy or poofy hair, usually it's the top layer that dries more irregularly than the bottom half, so slip the top layer off to one side and create a side pony with half of your hair. Once the hair is tight in the pony, take some strands and loosen them lightly so you have a bit more of a romantic texture up top, and then with the remaining hair, create a smaller pony a little bit lower down on your head. Now take a small section from the under pony, divide it in two and create a simple knot like you're beginning to tie a shoe, and bobby pin either side of the two loops. Repeat this step, take another small section and divide it in two, tie a knot and pin it just above that first knot so you're getting to see both of the little pattern there. And make sure you're not taking too much of the hair from the bottom pony because if you can leave some of the hair, it will add length as well. Once I did three knots, I just played with the ends and tucked them into each other so you get a bit of a cascading look with some shorter ends up top. And with a detailed look like this, take any bits of hair that maybe aren't cooperating and do a pin curl to conceal the irregular strand and add some detail. I added a little more of the Eastalon Anti-Frizz Serum again for shine, control, and increased hydration. And a little goes a long way, but I just got my hair colored and I really want that moisture. If you want, you can take down some baby strands around your face for more of a romantic look. And this is the finished glossy side pony. I really like it and it's one of those looks that it's not going to be the exact same every time, but it's very interesting and people are going to wonder how you did it. Number two is bold braids with a boho touch. My hair dries straight, but if yours is a bit curly or wavy, you might want to dampen it so it's easier to braid. I just got my hair colored for the warmer months, got more highlights, and I have my hair parted in the center already, but you want to make sure the part goes all the way to the back, so use the tail of a comb so that the part doesn't trail off and it's consistent all the way through. Clip one side off, and for this look, I'm using eSalon's Renewing Treatment Oil. This is a nourishing blend of argan oil and vitamins to increase shine, strengthen hair, and protect color from fading. I love an oil treatment in braids because it's easier to braid the hair, you get a sleek look and lots of shine, and you're making your hair healthier throughout the day. Pick up a small section closest to your part and hairline and divide this into three. Now we're going to start the Dutch braid, which is just an inverted French braid. Cross the outer strand under the middle one to the other side and repeat this bringing in small sections of hair from either side, first along the hairline and then reaching back to the back of the head and bringing that in. Make sure the hair that you're bringing in stays smooth. Once you're about past the ear and have less along the hairline to bring in, focus on including those back strands into um, the braid and keep them fairly tight so you can see the part at the back and the strands going into the braid. Complete the braid normally and I just got highlights so hopefully you can see the movement of the braid a little bit better and could tell what I was doing and just tug the sides of the braid for a more standout look. 
I wrapped a small piece from the end around the hair and this is going to cover the plastic elastic I used. And then I took another mini elastic to make sure that the ends were secured. So it seems counterproductive to put another elastic in after just hiding this one, but now you just adjust the wrapped hair to cover that one as well. If you want, tease the bottom section so you have a mix of textures, but this is completely up to you. I just thought it added a bit of a bohemian touch. So you just saw the finished product there, but repeat on the other side. And again, I used the Renewing Oil Treatment, and it's definitely a great secret weapon to wear with braids to maintain luscious locks. Alright, so an ongoing theme on my channel is mermaid inspired, and that is this next look. Sleep with braids or work with your natural texture, and take the front section of your hair into a high pony at the crown of your head. I made a funky little bun by looping the hair under around my fingers twice because I have longer hair, and then I wrapped the ends around the base and I'm pinning it down with bobby pins. Now here's what makes the look interesting. Pull up small sections from the tied up area there so you have a cage-like volume surrounding the bun. So every other inch or so, just pull up a section lightly and this will give a really cool mermaid-like effect. You can leave the look as it is, but I decided to go in with three accent braids. First at the side and I'm incorporating a couple strands from the front section to keep the cage detail throughout the look. I added one single mini braid at the back. And another braid with three incorporated pieces from the front again. If you want to, go ahead and loosen up the braids for more of a beachy look. And you can use sea salt spray to finish it off, but since those can be a bit drying, I'm using some defining cream from e Salon to help sculpt these slight waves I've got going on. With this product, the hair is still being conditioned throughout the day and you have more of a soft touch feel rather than it being kind of crunchy. Since this product is very dense, it's better for thick hair types like thick curls, but I like it because I'm doing a more beachy look and it kind of pieces my hair apart a bit. Last but not least, here is my girly curly bun. So at night, create pin curls around your hairline so that you'll have a nice romantic texture in the morning. So I do pin curls on slightly, slightly damp hair and I like to add a styler to ensure the curl stays put. This is e Salon's hair styling lotion to maintain shape and form in the shape of the pin curl while enhancing hydration overnight. So wrap the section around your two fingers Loop the hair inwards and then pin to your head. And I demonstrated three here, but on this next shot, I did have them overnight all around my hairline, so down to the back where my neck is as well. And taking the curls out, you'll see they are sleek and soft and perfect texture for this little updo. I just created a quick bun with a rope braid and then I bobby pinned this down, but really you can do a ballerina bun or a messy bun, whatever is quickest to you. And then with the back section, just flip your head over and use an elastic band to cover the bun so you have all those curls at the top there and then just start pinning them and letting them fall so you have a very romantic looking bun. Here I'm just working on the side sweep a bit so you get kind of an old school Taylor Swift updo type of look. And then I added some lace for a dainty finish. So there are the four no heat hairstyles for today's video. Let me know which style you like best. I tried to make them quite different so that at least one would appeal to you. And if you want to check out the products that I use today, all the links are in the down bar and you can get 50% off. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these looks. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up for more hair tutorials. I'd love to know in the comments down below which look was your favorite. Also, check me out on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, my username is always Jackie Wires, except for my YouTube URL. I don't know if a lot of you guys know my original YouTube name, but it's Cute Styles Go Miles. 
I thought it was really clever at the time, but it really didn't pick up. So anyways, yeah, I just go by Jackie Wires. But um, yeah, make sure you're staying updated with me on my social media. And if you are interested in any of the products I talked about, again, there is a link down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.